The Holy Ghost is the living God. And he's in the earth today. He's alive. He's in the earth. He's the spirit of faith. We walk Holy with him Ghost by faith. Holy Ghost, God in the earth today. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. Holy and you Ghost, walk with him by saying words, by speaking words, by declaring his words. Some of those words you can say and should say since he is God and he is in the earth is I worship you Holy Ghost. You should do that on a regular basis. You can also speak in other tongues on a regular basis, daily. That's what I mean. And when you're speaking in tongues, you're walking with God because you're speaking words, right? right? You're in the earth and you're speaking words in the earth. You walk with God by speaking words. You can also decree the scriptures. Well, who came up with the scriptures? The Holy Ghost came up with the scriptures. So if you're speaking His words in the scriptures, then you're speaking in agreement with Him and you're walking with God. Right? right? Mm -hmm. God who? God the Holy Ghost. It's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today. So anyway, if you go with me to 2 Corinthians... Let's just pray again here. I like to acknowledge the Holy Ghost when we read His Word. Holy Ghost, to worship You. I thank You that You have written this Word, that we can preach by it and live by it. I worship You and I thank You for it. And I ask You to quicken people, quicken people online, quicken people here, that we may know You and walk with You even better and to a fuller degree in our day. In Jesus' name, Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Let's look at verse 13. We, who's that? Oh, that's we, yep, that's us. We having the same spirit of faith, the same spirit of faith as who? As God, mm -hmm. right? Or you could say, you know, the old saints, the people before this verse of scripture, but we'll see what's going on here. We having the same spirit of faith according as it is written. Who wrote the scriptures mm -hmm. the Holy Ghost so obviously we're at least talking about the Holy Ghost we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believed and therefore have I spoken now if we take it to the degree that we should take it that the Holy Ghost wrote that right the Holy Ghost wrote say the Holy Ghost wrote that Ghost wrote and then he said I believed and therefore have I spoken so this is the Holy Ghost saying that I believed and therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore what speak how does God do things he believes and he says something remember light be That's how he began everything the Holy Ghost is the spirit of faith this is another one of his names spirit of faith he is the spirit of faith it is one of his names and we like the Holy Ghost have the same spirit of faith because we're born of him you understand therefore we're going to walk like him is this true yeah. he is the spirit of faith it's one of his names now some people would accuse me of dropping faith of not preaching faith of course they have not listened to anything more than maybe five minutes of a message and say oh you're too Holy Ghost centric well they haven't heard enough and how can you be not preaching faith if you're preaching the Holy Ghost and he is the spirit of faith right. you understand yes. so when you're preaching faith you're actually preaching the Holy Ghost he is the spirit of faith Walking with the Holy Ghost is walking with the spirit of faith. 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 19. Holding what? Faith. Holding faith. What is it to hold on to something? You hold on to it. You don't let it go. I don't care how far you go in the spirit. You still have to hold on to faith. Why? Because he is the spirit of faith. Faith comes by hearing. Do you remember that? And hearing by what the Word of God who gave us the Word of God who wrote the Word of God the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. so holding faith and a good conscience is that good yes. which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck so if you put away your faith 
you put away your good conscience you're going to be shipwrecked but it says specifically concerning faith we're not putting faith away because to walk with God takes faith even though he's God in the earth today we're not being spooky in our walk with God we have to walk with him by faith right yes. and he is the spirit of faith so it says and holding a good conscience well I know how I got here and you should know how you got to where you got you need to know how you got here you know because you would say well I worship the Holy Ghost well you didn't just get there by stumbling over it you got there by a progression specifically Jesus leaving and having not returned yet sent thee another the Holy Ghost and knowing that he is God you begin to worship God pretty simple right and people will have a problem ah, you worship the Holy Ghost well what if I said I worship the living God would that be better for you oh I worship the living well who is the living God the Holy Ghost is the living God and he's in the earth today he's alive he's in the earth he's the spirit of faith we walk with him by faith are you getting this so I'm holding a good conscience towards that I'm not trying to pervert something so I can go there I have good conscience toward it mm -hmm. understand yeah and I'm holding faith holding faith lead it again holding faith and a good conscience are you doing that mm -hmm. yeah see whoo I know how I got here to Holy Ghost worship and I preach faith they're not separate entities they're the same thing I preach faith because he is the spirit of faith are you getting this mm -hmm. let's go to Romans chapter 10 well you don't believe faith anymore all you preach is Holy Ghost worship well then you're you're ignorant of the message you're trying to put something on me that doesn't exist because I preach faith because the Holy Ghost is the spirit of faith and you wouldn't have any faith without him yeah, that's right. and you want more faith try worshiping the Holy Ghost Romans chapter 10 verse 8 but what saith it the word is nigh thee even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach I preach the word of faith that the word is near you it's in your mouth you ever heard me say that the word is in your mouth and it's in your heart that is the word of faith which we pre preach he's the same spirit of faith which he believes and speaks right. he speaks and believes he believes and speaks we have the same spirit of faith and he is the spirit of faith are you getting this yes. this is the word of faith that we preach the word is nigh thee in thy mouth and in thy heart and while you're right there just because we're really right there go over to verse 17 10 17 so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God are you getting that second you don't have to turn there second Peter 1 21 says holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost that's how we got the scriptures holy men of God spake or wrote as they were moved by the Holy Ghost so the scriptures that we get our faith from came directly from the spirit of faith or the Holy Ghost wouldn't that make sense if the spirit of if the spirit of faith said something spirit of faith Holy Ghost said something then faith would be in those words the Bible says the just shall live by faith it says it more than once it says it all over the Bible the just shall live by faith so if we're talking about living with the Holy Ghost and walking with the Holy Ghost in the earth how are we gonna do it by faith faith is a lifestyle meaning it's how we live say it's how we live it's, how we live. it's our lifestyle, it's our lifestyle. speaking mm -hmm. what is the spirit of faith speaking and believing believing and speaking say speaking and believing speaking and believing believing and speaking, believing and speaking. 
welcome to faith and welcome to the walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today you can't get around it it's who he is remember that verse of scripture we just read you got to hold faith and a good conscience to hold on to faith and a good conscience say I've got to hold on to faith and a good conscience, a good conscience. So you're holding on to it Romans chapter 9 verse 1 I say the truth in Christ I lied not my what conscience. conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost where's where's your conscience gonna be happy in the Holy Ghost your conscience your is born witness with the Holy Ghost are you getting this my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost who so who bears witness with you the Holy Ghost needless to say coming up to this point the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and he is a faith God he's the spirit of faith he believes and says things we believe and say things if we believe a scripture what should we do with it we should speak it who are we acting like then we're acting like the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today faith is not contrary to Holy Ghost worship or worshiping the Holy Ghost you just have a deeper revelation of who the Holy Ghost is that he's God in the earth today you understand but it still does not negate all the principles that you've learned in walking by faith would it be okay for me to preach faith then being someone who worships the Holy Ghost of course you would have to because he's the spirit of faith it's one of his names so let's go to Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 look at this but without faith it's impossible to please him so he's a faith God and it's impossible to please him what without faith He's a faith God. He's the spirit of faith. Say the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. is God in the earth today. He's, the, earth He's today. The, spirit the spirit of faith. And it's impossible to please him, which is our object here, right? Yes. It's impossible to please him without faith. For he that comes to God, the Holy Ghost, must believe that he is. And I've been down this road before. You must believe that he is what? he is God Holy Ghost is God and he's in the earth today and that not only he is and in the earth he is a rewarder of those who diligently pursue him or seek him when how would we diligently pursue and seek him if he's the spirit of faith by our speaking and believing number one and two or two and one however order you want to put it with and I say it that way because if you speak the Word of God faith comes by hearing and then you believe the Word of God and then after you believe the Word of God you speak the Word of God so without faith it's impossible say impossible. impossible it's impossible to please him it's impossible to walk with him he is the spirit of faith he speaks words and believe they come to pass let's just go up briefly here to uh, verse 3 chapter 11 verse 3 through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by what the Word of God so that things which appear or things which are seen were not made of things which do appear what are the things that didn't appear his belief we already read that he believed things and then he said them he believed in the light and he spoke the light and it came to be right yes. this is who the Holy Ghost is it's how he does stuff and we believe and we speak we have the same spirit of faith it's how we do things it's how we walk with God so if God does that which he does obviously he believes and speaks he's the spirit of faith is it possible that we walk with him if we don't walk the same way and speak the same language and believe the same things no it's not if you want to turn with me to Amos chapter 3 verse 3 
can two walk together except they be agreed and the word agreed means to say the same thing that's a literal translation of it can two walk together except they say the same thing so they would be believing the same thing right we're talking about walking with God the Holy Ghost who is the spirit of faith can two walk together except they be agreed well the answer is no they can't they be walking opposite of each other or against one another so if we have the same spirit of faith where we believe and speak and the Holy Ghost has the same spirit of faith as we do now that he believes things and speaks something we in order to walk with him who is the spirit of faith then we have to believe and say the same thing is this making sense mm -hmm. that's called faith faith what is it the word is nigh you it's in your mouth it's in your heart that is the word of faith which we preach go to first Corinthians are you telling me brother I can walk with God the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today by believing and saying the same things that he says that's exactly what I'm saying we are laborers together with God say we are laborers, we are laborers. Together, together with God with well what do you think that means laborers together with meaning he's got stuff he wants done in the earth and how's he gonna get it done in the earth he needs a mouth that's why in the day of Pentecost they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak what did they begin to speak his words they began laboring together with him to speak those words into the earth second Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 for all of the promises of God in him are yes and in him amen unto the glory of God by us say all of the promises, all the promises. Of, God of God are yes, are yes. So what does God say to the promise of him prospering you? Yes. yes. What about the promise of him healing you? Yes. Yes. He's already said yes. All the promises are yet. What about youth renewal? Yes. Yes. His answer is already yes. Well, according to being laborers together with or two walking together, all the promises of God are yes and amen. What does amen mean? so it is or so be it so be it unto me so God has a promise that he said yes to already he gave the promise how the promise get in here Holy Ghost gave the promise but he gave the promise the promise is here now for us to walk with him who is the promise we have to say so be it say I say, I say. the so be it he said the promise now I have to say the promise is unto me now if you say the promise is unto you you believe it and speak it you are walking in the same spirit of faith as he is are you getting this we believe and we speak mark chapter 11 let's look at verse 22 and Jesus answered and said unto them have faith in God or have the God kind of faith well what would the God kind of faith be well we know he is the spirit of faith the God kind of faith is the kind of faith that believes and says something say the God kind of faith, the kind of faith is the kind that says, kind that says and, believes and believes something or the kind that believes and says something that's how God does it that's how we walk with him have the same spirit of faith have faith in God it could have said have the same spirit of faith verse 23 for verily I say unto you whosoever shall say unto this mountain or problem be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall what believe so here again we've got the God kind of faith is saying and believing you say to the mountain and you believe what do you believe you believe the words you say come to pass he shall have whatsoever he says what kind of faith is that that's the God kind of faith 
that's the same spirit of faith as the spirit of faith that's how we walk with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today Romans chapter 4 verse 16 therefore it is of faith say it is of faith, faith that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all the seed not only to that which is of the law but to that which also is of the faith of Abraham who is the father of us all well if this is true then Abraham had to be walking in the same spirit of faith or with the Holy Ghost who is the spirit of faith and applying the same principle of believing and saying let's see if he did says the father of us all verse 17 as it is written I have made thee the father of many nations so God said a promise to him I have made thee the father of many nations before him or another word for that is like him whom he believed even God so before him or like him whom he believed even God who quickens the dead and calls those things which be not as though they were what was he calling things and he was calling them something that they weren't yet he was saying things and it says he believed God say he believed, he believed. and he spoke spoke calling things means speaking things which be not as though they were and calls those things that be not as though they were are you here are you getting this how did Abraham operate he operated in the spirit of faith well how long do I have to call things that be not as though they were until that's what Abraham had to do too well, if we read on here it says who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so what was he doing? he had something spoken over him and he had to keep calling it that way until not being weak in faith he considered on his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old when he was about a hundred years old neither yet the dead deadness of Sarah's room he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief but was strong in faith giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he God had promised he was able also to perform and therefore it was imputed unto him for righteousness now it was not written for his sake alone that it was imputed to him but also for us to whom it shall be imputed how is it imputed to us when we believe and we speak according to the same spirit of faith so what is the spirit of faith well number one is the Holy Ghost but it's also is believing and speaking let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12 now we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God what spirit would that be the Holy Ghost and what is he he's the spirit of faith we've not received the spirit of the world but we have received the spirit of faith the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God which things also we speak so in order to receive the things you have to what you have to speak the things if you want the things in the earth you have to speak the things in the earth I'm gonna say it again if you want the things in the earth you don't want to just put it off till heaven you have to speak the things in the earth if you want the things in the earth you have to speak the things in the earth we have received not the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of God you could put a period there because I'd like to get something across to you let's just just humor me for a second put a period there I know there's not you know any any punctuation in the Greek so why they put that semicolon there I don't know but it's there the spirit which is of God period that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God which things we also speak mm -hmm. the things we also speak that we might know the things freely given to us of God you won't know the things freely given to you of God until you speak it are you seeing this yet that you might know the things freely given to you of God 
the things you also speak if you want to know the things freely given to God up to you of God you're gonna to have to speak those things it's the same spirit of faith let me pray for you Holy Ghost you are the spirit of faith I thank you and ask you to quicken people according to your word according to your faith that they may speak those things and have those things in direct manifestation in their lives in the earth today I ask you to quicken them according to it and I thank you for it in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, receive I receive the quickening, the quickening of, the of the spirit of faith in my life, in my life. Right, now, right now in Jesus name, in Jesus name.